A win here would move them into the top four. The ball though is Will Sarr and Zaha strikes it in and it's Crystal Palace who take an early lead. Wilfred Zaha, edge of the D, right-footed strike. Fabianski dropping to his right-hand side, could not stop it going in. It's Palace 1, West Ham 0. I think the ball's played in by Mijovic into Zaha. He's got his back to goal, he touches it off his heel while his back's to goal. Into feet of Benteke, I think. It goes into Benteke. He gives it back to him. Zaha pulls it across onto his, on his left foot, onto his right foot, and he hits a shot to the right-hand side. With Ogbonna, he hangs a ball forward to the head of Antonio. A little touch from Bowen. Out to West Ham on the left-hand side. Shaping to try and get a cross in. Antonio is the player uh, close. And this could be a real chance. Antonio hooks it to Suchek. Stretched out. Got his head onto that. And it's all square here at Selhurst Park with less than nine minutes played. It's Palace 1, West Ham 1. Crystal Palace get near the box, they score. West Ham get into the box for the first time in the game. They go and score. It's a typical Suchek kind of goal because it's with his head. But it's more of those lung-busting runs he makes into the box. And the ball's got in towards the byline. I think it's four lads. Four nails. Sorry. Four nails with the, with the ball. initial ball. Yeah, yeah. And he goes to the byline. It's hooked back with a right foot by Antonio, just into an area, not directly looking for Suchek, just pulling it back into air, which is great play. Suchek just makes one of those runs. I think Eze's going with him, but Eze can't compete. West Ham on the attack. Antonio, I think, felt he was fouled. He sort of looks for support from Stuart Atwell, who blows his whistle to agree with him. West Ham have a free kick. A two-man wall for this set piece to go over. Cresswell lifts it over the wall and it's turned in. And it's Suchek again. It was a free kick that went over the wall. It finds Suchek for his second and West Ham second. They've got the lead here for the first time at Selhurst Park. Palace one, West Ham two. But the ball's almost gone to the byline and Suchek is still chasing it. He's gone for a lot of schools, but he's taken it off. He's like virtually just off his right thigh. Sorry, on his left five, and he's pull it, got it Great control. His, yeah, to yeah. the right, and it's a great, great, like you say, good control and a really good finish as well. No arguments there about it being with his hands or anything. So, and now it's with Antonio. Oh, and it comes back off the posts. And that could have been a real chance for them to extend their lead straight from the kickoff after VAR had been consulted about Suchek second. The ball found its way to Mikel Antonio and, uh, well, it came back off the post very, very close. Yeah, absolutely incredible that was by Chiarty. Hasn't had a clean strike in it, but it hits the inside of the post, comes out and goes out for a goal kick on the other side. Ball back with... Gator, the Palace goalkeeper, that hasn't had a save to make, has watched Suchek though turn the ball past him twice and now West Ham advance again through central midfield and well, as I speak Gator has to drop to his left hand side. The chance may be for a hat-trick with uh, 32 minutes on the clock. Here it's with Ben Rama, tries to pull it back, could be a chance for four nails. He left it for one of his teammates, it comes back to Antonio. Antonio's effort from about six yards out bounces back off the post. Ball come across almost on the penalty spot. Why didn't four nails? I wondered why. Yeah, he's, let, yeah. he's let it go. To he left it for of, Cresswell, didn't the, he? On the edge of the box, and he's had a strike, not a great strike. It goes into Antonio, who just sticks a leg out. That goes onto the inside of the other post and comes out, this time onto the pitch. Eze finds Zaha, Zaha tries to get past Fabianski and manages to keep the ball in play. Fabianski though stopping Zaha initially and then getting there again to push the ball away for a corner. Uh, he gets some congratulations from his teammates, Lucas Fabianski. Crystal Palace though have got a corner as a consequence. Just good play by West Ham, good possession play, bided their time, stayed patient, didn't rush and get the ball in the box straight away.
Ben Rama this time to oh. Antonio and Gaita has to get there it might come back to Ben Rama again and Gaita is there again uh, Ben Rama pulling the ball back to Mikel Antonio he must wonder what he's got to do to get a goal in this game oh. Absolutely amazing that was the save. I mean, Ben Rama, great work to get to the byline. Pulls it back, six-yard box. Ben, he just can't do any more, Antonio Gaito. What a react reaction save that was, by the way. I've seen him do that a few times, and I think it's part and parcel with his game. He was twisting and turning one way and another, blocked, though, by the Palace defence. But they keep coming, West Ham, don't they? If there's another goal in this game, it's going to be for West Ham. West Ham have a corner. Bowen's corner is headed back out of play by a Crystal Palace head. And it's headed in. And West Ham have extended their lead. And it's Craig Dawson who leapt to head it past the Crystal Palace goalkeeper. A Bowen corner in, headed in to give West Ham some daylight now here at Selhurst Park. Are they heading into the top four with their sixth successive win at the start of 2021? Palace one, West Ham three. Yeah, and they deserve to get it as well. And Craig Dawson deserves it. When that ball went in, I was about to say Dawson without really being 100% sure because I knew that Suchek wasn't anywhere near it. Craig Dawson scores a lot of goals in the, in the opponent's box. He really attacks the ball well. He's brave as he's very brave as well and he's very direct and that doesn't surprise me that he's gone and scored. Ball here is with Rice left hand side of the Palace box. The cross in is the shot down and it's just wide from Kufal. He was racing in from the right hand side. Oh and that was uh, well dangerously close to a fourth West Ham. I'm not even going to go through how that come about, that opportunity again for Antonio, because that was just from a free kick and the combination of play was incredible, what they'd done there, West Ham. Has to square the ball to MacArthur, now with uh, Reid Aval. Just five seconds I make it on my watch left to play here at Selhurst Park to MacArthur, back heel from Ayu, now with Bashwai and Bashwai with a consolation surely late here at Selhurst Park Bashwai uh, past Fabianski Palace 2, West Ham 3 but surely time has run out I think it has, I don't want to come out 100% say but uh, that was good play by Crystal Palace, it broke through and there's a little ball around the corner, I think it was I who's back killed it into the path of Bats Batsway it was him, yes, it definitely was yeah. him. He I was going to say, it's now really up to the referee to decide when this match is concluded, but Stuart Atwell, uh, straight after kick-off, uh, says that that will do, and despite that late goal from Bath Shui, it is now just one win in nine in the Premier League for Crystal Palace. It is six successive victories uh, for West Ham at the start of 2021. They move into the top four in the Premier League. It's finished here at Sellers Park. Crystal Palace 2, West Ham United 3.